Number 1. Chest pain, pressure, squeezing, and fullness. Imagine someone experiencing an attack of the heart, and you'll likely imagine them gasping for breath and craning their chests before falling asleep. If you experience chest pain after the course of a heart attack, however, it might not be as intense. In certain instances, it might not be described as discomfort. It may instead be as if pressure is pressing within the chest. The discomfort or pain in the chest is caused by an inadequate flow of oxygen-rich blood to your heart. In the event of a heart attack, it is possible to feel this discomfort in the middle of your chest. It could last for a couple of minutes before it disappears, or it might recur following an insignificant break. Number 2. Arm, back, neck, jaw, or stomach pain or discomfort. Heart attack pain could not be limited to the chest region. Inflammation or pain in your back, arm or neck, jaw, or stomach could be related to a heart attack. However, most people don't associate discomfort in these areas with having a heart attack that could stop people from seeking urgent medical treatment. The signs that show a head-to-toe heart attack are lightheadedness, neck, jaw, neck or back pain, shoulder or arm pain, breathing shortness, nausea or vomiting. Number 3. Shortness of breath, nausea, and lightheadedness. Number 4. Breaking out in a cold sweat. The other common sign is seeing yourself in a sweaty, cold sweat. The reason for this is because when you have blocked the arteries, your heart requires greater energy to circulate blood, 